7 a.m. the usual morning lineup. All those days watching from the windows. That's the funny thing about birthdays. They're kind of an annual thing. Ugh, I want to see the floating lights. I can't believe I did this. Find your humanity. Haven't any of you ever had a dream? Just for 24 hours and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. And it's also my birthday. <laughs> Just so you know. 7 a.m. the usual morning line. <laughs> hey guys! Alright, so let's get started on this Rapunzel makeup tutorial. So to start, I'm just using my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion to just moisturize my face. Then I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice. I'm just using a brush. So this Rapunzel tutorial was actually highly requested on my Instagram. Um, fun fact, I actually filmed it already, but I had to redo the entire thing because I forgot to film an outro. <laughs> I just knew that it would be mismatched, so I had to do it all in one shot and redo the whole thing. But here it is, finally. I know it's taken me a long time, but I hope you like it. Alright, so I'm just going in with my eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. And then my concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. Just going under my eyes and all my blemishes. Then I'm using my powder, uh, it's the Revlon Photo Ready. Just uh, focusing under my eyes and then fanning out all over my face. So I'm going to go in with my new Winter Wonder Glam eyeshadow palette by Tarte. Uh, I got it for Christmas from Carm. It has all these amazing shimmers and mattes. So I'm just starting with that light pink color called Mauve Magic. And going in the crease on the ends of the eyes. And a little bit in the inner corner as well. Then I'm using that slightly darker color called uh, Cherry Tart and focusing on the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm grabbing my James Charles palette uh, and taking the those two colors there, the purple and the slightly lighter purple. I don't know the names because uh, I got rid of the little clear sheet, so <laughs> whatever, it's two purples. Uh, so for the lighter one, I'm just focusing again on the outer and inner corners. And then with the darker one, I'm taking a slightly more tapered brush and just focusing on the outer corner. So for the lid, I'm taking my Huda Beauty uh, Amethyst Obsessions palette and using that gorgeous uh, light pink shimmer right there. And just placing it with my finger uh, right on the lid. Going back into James Charles and taking the pinkity drinkity color, <laughs> that's the only color I remember, uh, and using a crease brush to just fan it all out in my crease and blend out any harsh lines. Uh, 
And then for my brow bone, I'm taking Kat Von D's Shade and Light eyeshadow palette and taking that uh, white color and just putting it, it's a matte white, just putting it right there on my brow bone. But then for my tear duct, I'm gonna take a shimmer color, uh, once again from the Tarte palette. This color is called Pop Fizz Clink, and it's like a, a shimmery uh, champagne type color. Then for under the eye, I'm taking that same matte Mauve Magic color and just focusing on the outer end of the eye. And then I'm taking a brown eyeliner pencil from MAC and just lining the lower lash line. Not on the inner corner, just on the outside. Then we're gonna apply some falsies. I got these from Miniso. Um, the brand is Mish Blumen, and the style is number 30 Glamorous Dolly. And I use, uh, I use these for all my princess cosplays. They're really good. Then I'm just gonna do a slight wing with a black eyeliner just on the ends and just a really, really small wing. Putting that brown eyeliner in my waterline just on the top. Curling my lashes all together. And then using my new favorite mascara of all time. <laughs> it's the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. It's really good. So for my eyebrows, I'm first going to use this product by Essence. It's a brow gel, but it also makes your brows a little bit lighter because I got it in a lighter color. And then I'm using an eyebrow pencil that's also like one or two shades too light for me, just to lighten up my brows and make them look more like blonde. And I'm basically giving them just a slight arch, nothing too spectacular, nothing too unique, just a little arch there. Then I'm gonna use my Naked 2 Basics palette to contour a bit my nose. So I'm just using a small brush to contour my nose. Um, so I'm basically just gonna try to make it appear a little bit thinner and uh, more of a ball on the, the tip of the nose. Then I'm going to use a matte bronzer to bronze up my face. So I'm starting with my cheeks and then I'm going to go on my forehead area and on my chin. I'm actually taking that contour color to go under my chin to make my face look a bit uh, shorter because my face is narrow and hers is like round and then going on the ends of my mouth because her mouth is like really wide so it just widens up your uh, your lips a bit and then for blush I'm using my morphe uh, warm tones blush palette uh, the color is unapologetic and it's kind of like this uh, matte peachish type color so it doesn't really have any undertones of pink or anything I just find that this color is more Rapunzel because she has a very sun-kissed 
type complexion and I'm making sure to go high up on the cheekbone that lifts your face and makes your face look more round as well and also going over my nose and then I'm putting the same highlight color that I used in my inner corner just putting it on the ball of my nose there then I'm using the same brown eyeliner pencil to create a few little freckles there on the tip of my nose and fanning out into my cheeks So for my lips, I'm going to use three products. The first is this lip liner by L'Oreal. It's just a neutral peach toned color. And for the upper lip, I'm making sure not to do too much of a cupid's bow, so just keeping it round there. And then I'm going in with Max Please Me, which is this nice natural pink color. And then going on top of that with Max Kinda Sexy, which is uh, more of a nude, less pink, just more peach and uh, focusing on the outer ends of the mouth just to make it look bigger. I'm also taking the contour color under the bottom lip and that's just going to make the, the lip look even bigger. And that's it! That's it for the makeup. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to put everything on in 3, 2, 1. And there it is! So thanks for watching this tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed and as always if you use my tutorials be sure to tag me so I can check it out. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at a little android and I'll see you in the next one, bye!